we see electrical circuits everywhere the computers or mobile devices that we are using to watch this radio the cars that we drive and even the clock that sits on our wall when we design some of these analog circuits we got to meet some specification let us say what is the current that is needed to light a bulb at a given time and to do this we have two options we either calculate it by hand or use simulations to design the circuit and understand the overall response performing manual calculations using kirchhoff current laws and kirchhoff voltage laws work very well for small circuits but what if we want to understand the current through a specific motor of a robotic arm which is doing picking and placing of an object this is where simulations help a lot in today's video we will understand how we can build and simulate electrical circuits using matlab let's start by designing a simple resistor inductor and capacitor circuit which is an rlc circuit we'll begin by opening simulac now the first question is what are the components that we can model we would have to check these using library browser we can go to simscape foundation library and select electrical let's first add a resistor a passive component and say add block to the model we see that the resistor is added to simulink similarly we add an inductor and a capacitor now one thing you will notice is that the passive components also have a plus minus sign these are just to show the direction of the current that's flowing through them once we have added the three components we can specify the parameters for each of these elements for resistor you can specify the resistance value to begin let's set the resistance value to 10 ohms similarly for the inductor we can set the inductance value and for the capacitor we can set the capacitance value we can also set some initial targets for the inductor and the capacitor with that set the next step would be to add a voltage source we can go to library browser foundation library sources and select the source that we want there are multiple ones but what we need is a dc source which is a battery we connect it to the components we also need to give a ground reference and then we just need to let simscape know that it has to solve this task so we add a solver configuration block and connect it to the assembled circuit and we're done let's run the simulation and see it running so we would want to understand how to measure the current and voltages across the elements for this we could use sensors so let's add a voltage sensor across the r l and c component and a current sensor as well in the circuit also we want to visualize it so let's add a scope however we see that the scope block is not getting connected to the output of the current sensor that's because the current or the voltage sensors have outputs which are physical signals now the physical signal needs to be converted to a signal using the ps to s block which is the physical signal the signal block and there we have it's connected to the scope we can then run the simulation for different values of r l and c and check the performance of the circuit to understand if it's an underdamped overdamped or a critically damped system we can visualize the data and inspect the details of each of the signals across and through each component now rlcs are not the only components one can model we could have models with ac voltage sources as well as current sources we could also have diodes op amps mosfets three phase systems we can also use them to understand the characteristics of these devices we can go from designing diode rectifiers to designing and simulating a synchronous jk flip flop if you would like to learn the basic simulating electrical circuit using the simscape tool which we saw in this video be sure to check out the 2 hour self paced course on the circuit simulation on ramp 